got it. Okay, so now they're beating on our door. We come up here, we flip the switch. And we got darts. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play. Last video, we went on a hunt for the wire tool. It was not easy. I did not expect to be hunting for the wire tool last episode, but I, I thought it was pretty fun. Got some looting done. We figured out some interesting ways to get steel. If you missed that video, you should definitely go back and check it out. Today, today, we can finally put a door on the first floor of our base. Hmm? Is that going to be the case? I don't know. We're going to have to see. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Okay, so what are we doing here, guys? Well, we've got a lot, a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, I'm going to want to start putting these things right here. This is going to be the setup for my base. I'm going to be using these poles going sideways, okay, for my base setup, okay? Also, I have an idea of where I can set it up with dart traps so i can actually have a door on my first floor and i think i have everything i need for it um i'm gonna try and get it done this episode all right we also have a lot of stuff to talk about we also have corrections which are making a comeback i'll do those a little bit later <clears throat> and we also have an update okay it's also five o'clock in the morning here in, on the east coast and um i need to get some videos done because i'm a little bit behind so if my voice sounds a little weird i apologize but let's get started okay so, this is going to be the middle the middle base. I want to get this started. This is going to be the entrance, okay? I'm going to have the entrance right here. I'm going to have a dart trap right here, okay? A dart trap right here, all right? And then pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. And this is going to be open. And there's going to be a door right here. And that should keep the zombies maybe out of my front door. Is it going to keep a horde out? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm kind of just, uh, I'm kind of just working, kind of playing around here a little bit, seeing what I can get to work. All right. So let's go ahead and make some more frames because I'm going to need these. Let's make another six for now because I want to measure out the middle. One, two, three. That should be the middle. One, two, three three that is the middle so i want to put this here i think i'm gonna put it here this is gonna be a ladder going up to the second second floor because i do not expect this floor to i totally expect this floor to be infiltrated i don't think it's gonna i don't think it's gonna stand up <laughs> but you know we'll see how things go now you might be wondering what i'm doing here with these little poles uh basically this is a little thing so i can melee through and shoot through i can loot and i can repair spikes that's the idea now, the problem with these is if they knock out one pole, I believe the zombies can get through. There's two kinds of defenses that allow you to attack um, the zombies. Here, let me see if I can do this. Copy rotation. There we go. There's two kinds of uh, there's two kinds of builds that allow you to attack the, attack the zombies, loot the zombies, and repair your spikes. Okay, this is one of them. The other one is the pillar defense. Now, I think the pillar defense is better than this one. And I'll tell you why. I'm about to check right now to see if this is the case. Okay, so let's say the zombies are beating on this defense and they break one part out. They're going to break this one out. This is the one they're going to break out, right? Now, can they get through? Okay, so I can't get through. So, I don't know. Maybe they can get through. You know what? I kind of want to know if they can get through this. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do a quick test right here? I don't normally like to do this kind of stuff, but I really want to know if a zombie can get through that. So let's go ahead and get a zombie nurse. And let's see if she can get through here. She cannot. Well, there you go. Okay. So I take it back. This is probably just as good as the pillar defense then. I'm not going to loot her because I spawned her in and that would be cheap if I got any good, if I got anything good off her. So I will not be doing that. All right, so, okay, so this, yeah, this defense is, uh, is pretty cool. I do like it. I like it a lot. All right. So that's the pillar defense. All right, so let's go over some of the update notes because some of these update notes are going to be, um, actually, I need to put one more up. How do I, how, well, I'm going to make this six high. So let's go, I'll go over the update notes as I can, but I'm going to have to be talking about this build quite a bit as well. So let's go ahead and copy rotation. Yep, and then uh, let's go over here, and there we go, and it goes up one more. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't know if it's five or six. Whatever, just put one right there. 
it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be having these poles go all the way up anyway. There's no point. I only need them to go up a, a certain amount of space. How high do I want these poles to go up? Like, how high am I going to want to be able to shoot? Uh, that's probably pretty good, right? And then I could put, I could put regular blocks above that. I think. Let's see where these regular blocks will go. Um, I'm also going to need... Oh, crap, I made scrap frames. You guys probably saw that. You know what the thing is, though? If I throw those scrap frames directly into the forge, I should theoretically get them all back. Uh, all the iron back, so I, didn't, I wouldn't have lost any. My bad. Let's go and make 12 of these. All right, well, let's get on up there, and let's see what we can do here. Alrighty, let's come on up here. And where would this... Oops. Where would this block go? So this block would go right here. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? I'm not gonna. What, what would I have to? What would I need to shoot up through there for? Right? That, that's not. That's not. I'm not gonna have to do that. Honestly, I could have probably put a, even put one lower. Uh, that's actually higher than it probably needs to be. But um, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I think that works. So let's go ahead and put these up. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead and put these right here. It doesn't remember the rotation, but that actually it does. It does remember the rotation, but it was on the other block. That's why. Right there, and then we're gonna copy rotation. Once we copy rotation, we should be able to just jump up on it, right? Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. <clears throat> now we're getting somewhere. We got a whole face done. Are we gonna hurt our leg? Probably not. All right, we're good. Yeah, so that's the whole face, guys. That's the way it's gonna work. Now, I want to upgrade these because I want to get my. I want to get my my construction tools up so i could get the workbench all right <clears throat> so the workbench uh only needs construction tools fit oh god hold on guys we're about to we're about to get into it come on there you go oh god from behind damn holy cow there's a lot of zombies all right well, let's let's get to killing people you know, it's good to get some killing done, you know. If you go a whole day without killing, then all of a sudden you're like losing all your, uh, you're losing the edge. You know what I mean? Man, I really want to find the crossbow book. I, I don't do much looting in this, I don't do much looting in this, uh, in this season though. Which, you know, I mean, eh, why loot? I mean, we could be starting over at stable any, at any point. All right, so let me talk about the update while I'm killing these clowns. Okay, <clears throat> update. By the way, sorry for my voice. Like I said, it's 5 a.m. I need to get some videos done. I didn't get as many videos done as I wanted to yesterday because of uh, problems with uh, recording another game. Oh, oh, no stamina. No stamina. Hold on, guys. All right. Oh, God. You die already. Update notes. Claim stone requires forged, forged uh, iron, not steel. I think they mean land claim block. Uh, so the land claim block doesn't need steel anymore, right? So let's take a look. Land claim block does not need steel anymore. You do need a workbench, so it's not that easy to make, but you can make it with forged iron. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you can get the workbench at Construction Tools 20, but you don't get steel until 40. So uh, not needing steel is actually a pretty decent... Um... Oh, God, look at this guy. Come on back. No, 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 come on. I need feathers. Where are you going? I didn't even hit you. Get back here! Is he gonna attack? Like, what is he doing? Oh, here he comes. Alright, no, no point in trying to hit with arrows. Especially when I got a nice, nice club. There we go. Alright! My first uh, vulture kill. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Come to, come to Papa with those feathers. <clears throat> Kind of wish you dropped regular meat, but, you know, well, you can't have it all, I guess. All right, so land claim box uh, does not need steel anymore. I like that change, okay? Iron tools drain more stamina than stone tools. They, this key needs to be covered with perks. So they didn't say anything about any of the other tools. They said iron tools deal uh, drain more stamina than stone. So I guess they up the amount of drain on stone tools, I guess. Uh, we're going to have to kind of play around with that and see how it works. They increased probability for finding silver, gold, and diamond. I like that. That's pretty cool. Now, does that mean in chests? 
too, or is that just a, like, digging underground thing? It's probably just a digging underground thing, if I had to guess, but I don't know for sure. Because you can find that stuff pretty good in, uh, in, uh, treasure, treasures. <clears throat> anyway, like, I found quite a bit of them just uh, a couple episodes ago. Was that last episode? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and uh, mark this airdrop. Okay, um, adjusted requirements for the concrete perk, okay? Well, they've adjusted the uh, requirements for the workbench. I can already get this now, which is awesome. And the concrete perk is now construction tools 10, mining tools 20, science 3. Well, we can take it, so why not? There we go, concrete. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, uh, double the effectiveness of... Combining items. Now, I haven't combined a lot of items, uh, but, you know, com doubling their effectiveness sounds pretty pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, what else? Let's upgrade while we uh, while we talk here. Where is my... Uh, I don't see it. You guys see a nail gun? I do not see a nail gun. All right, well, what else we got here? The, the uh, ammunition formerly known as steel darts is now known as iron darts. Oh, man, the fun pimps, man. Like, you know... I, like, make one comment, one video, and it's changed the next day. Did they hear that comment? Uh, were they thinking of that along those lines anyway? I don't know. But I absolutely love that change. Because otherwise, I would not have been able to use that dart trap until level 40. Which would have been kind of just like, ugh, you know? I probably would have been using better turrets by then or anything. So, I absolutely love that change. Now, do I want to upgrade this? I'm not sure yet. Um, first of all, let's get rid of this corpse. Uh, yeah, so, I love that change. That is uh, just, just phenomenal. Okay, so is this is this a, a done deal? I'm building this. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. There we go. All right, so why are we doing this? We're supposed to be doing this to get our construction skill up, right? Well, yeah, but we also need to... We need to upgrade these because... What is the... Uh, 1,500. Even 1,500 is not that good. Well, you know what? We need to start working on concrete, I think. When we get back to base... <clears throat> I will definitely start. Well, you know what? I'm, I don't want to do anything with the forge because I'm going to be moving the forge. So maybe I shouldn't bother with the forge yet. I mean, we might be moving here tomorrow. So. All right. What else do we have? All right. Uh, the I mean, okay. So yeah, iron iron darts. Wonderful, wonderful change. Absolutely love it. All right. So what's next? Uh, increased experience gained from killing zombies, especially at higher levels. I love that too, because like, it seems like the only real way to level right now is by digging. And I kind of want, I kind of don't, am not in love with that. I mean, I, I love digging as much as the next guy, but when you just want to go out and dig like repeatedly because you want to get levels, it seems kind of messed up to me. So I really like that change for killing zombies gives you more experience. That is really nice. Uh, adjusted skill points cost made less powerful perks considerably cheaper. Um, uh, buying all per buying all perks cost about a hundred points less now. So what weaker perks could they be talking about? Uh, let's take a look. Weaponsmithing, toolsmithing, gunsmithing, uh, survivor. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know what? I didn't even look at the cost of any of these. So I don't really know, like, what they changed. You guys probably know better than I do. Um, but I'm not, you know, it's kind of hard to tell with, for me, because I don't take a lot of those perks. So... I will not be looking at that too much. All right, what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of... Actually, let's do the quest thing. All right, so someone said I could have multiple quests at once for treasure maps. So there's a treasure map, Taylor's treasure map. Let's see if I can read another one and get it. Nicole's. So maybe when I read the treasure map twice... I, I read two treasure maps like a month or two ago to kind of try and test this. Maybe they were the same name and that's why I didn't get two different treasures. So I read that one. So now I should have two different treasure map quests. Oh, cool. All right. So maybe you can read both of them, but you, you got to make sure um, they have different names. That's what I'm thinking. Might be the might be the idea there. Uh, what else do we have for quests? Or, I mean, for I'm sorry, for uh, this updates. Okay. Remove the run forest run perk because it gave unintentional multiplier to all stamina use. Okay. They didn't fix it. They removed it. Uh, seems like a curious... You know, a curious decision. Usually when something's broken, you fix it. But maybe there was something, you know, I don't understand, you know, from a developer standpoint that it was maybe not worth fixing or too hard to fix. Or, you know, maybe they have ideas for different things they want to do. Zombies drop more quest notes. That is a really good, that is a really good update. I'll tell you why. Because, like, quest notes were kind of almost rare. They're definitely uncommon. You didn't get a lot of them. I mean, even if you wanted to do quest, basically there's a whole thing going on right now in the, uh, in the forums where people are complaining that you can't get all the perks in the game. 
Now, I'm not one that needs all the perks in the game. There's a lot of perks I don't care about ever getting. And um, I'm fine with it the way it is right now because it's tight to get the perks I want, but I can. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. But there are some people who want to get all the perks in the game. And, you know, you know I don't blame them. They're completionists. You know, I, I get that. Um, and the fun pimps kind of don't agree, I guess. Uh, or maybe they, you know... Hold on, let's get this right. Okay. Or maybe the fun pimps just want you to get it different ways, you know? So, um, quest, quest notes were a good idea, uh, but the problem is they don't give a lot of points, and you don't get them a lot, you know? <clears throat> you don't get them a lot. Like, let's say I had one right now where I had to kill four, four zombie women. Well, what do I do? It's not like I can just go look for zombie women, and if I do, it could take forever. Um, so, it's not that easy. Uh, you know, but now with more quest notes, that will definitely help. I think they need better quests, too. Uh, I don't have an answer for what is quote-unquote a better quest, but I would like to see better quests. I'm just not sure, um, what those quests would be. Okay, guys, those were just the points of the updates, uh, for, what was it, B129, I think? Uh, those were just the points that I really found interesting, uh, for the updates. Uh, if you guys want to see the whole updates, go to the forums, go to uh, PC News and Announcements, Alpha 16 Experimental B129 Bug Reports Only thread, and they list uh, they list the complete update notes there, and you could see everything you want to see. Uh, overall, though, I really like the update so far. Um, I haven't had to deal with the uh, the, the the stamina drain. I heard that I heard that um, using the wrench drains your stamina quite a bit now too. So I haven't had to deal with any of that stuff, but but on the face of it, I do like it. The the dart thing is just. Pfft, just wonderful. I, I love the whole change to the dart thing. Do I want to move this back? I think I do. All right, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some electrical parts. Uh, not some electrical parts. But we're gonna need dart traps for this setup, along with a generator. We're gonna need a lot of stuff here. Uh, but it is already getting late. Do I want to work here at night? That is the question. Um, working at night is gonna be tough uh, for the viewer because you guys won't be able to see very much. But I might want to work out here at night. I th I feel kind of somewhat safe although if i get a roaming horde i'm kind of screwed uh what would i do at night if i'm not out here i really should start a mine that's what i should do you know what i could do at night i could farm the i could farm up the rest of the motel i don't mind doing that and that could be pretty exciting uh again though it's it's too it's so freaking dark um to do it uh do i have some torches let me see what i got here Okay, guys, I want to get this front entrance dart trap set up done this video. So I'm going a little bit faster off camera here than I would normally, but let me show you what I've got so far. All right, so this is going to be the main part. of. Oh, by the way, we named the horde base. Actually, I didn't name the horde base. Hold on, let me get up here where I'm safe. Now I got a little hidey hole here. Actually, I could probably make it even more of a hidey hole. Let's go ahead and make some more of our awesome, awesome flagstone. Uh, probably need about another hundred. Yeah, we can use another hundred easily. All right. So what am I, I'm worried about screamers now. Right now it's only torches, um, but I do want to get some forges going up here. Like I want this place to be screamer proof. So eventually I'll have crazy amount of forges up here. But the thing is, I'm not gonna put the forges up here. That's supposed to be for ladders. All right, let me go ahead and put this. I'm not gonna put the forges up top until I am ready for them. By the way, this ladder right here in the back, I don't really like the placement. Um, I'm going to put a ladder on this side and a ladder on this side and break that ladder out. Now, I, I am getting a little bit low on forge. Now, the reason I'm making the ladders out of um, iron is because uh, if zombies get in here, like, they could get broken up pretty easily, and I'm kind of worried about that. Um, but I ran out of forge iron. I'm kind of running low on forge iron. I need it for other things. So I'm going to make them out of wooden ladders. And you can upgrade wooden ladders to uh, iron ladders. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. One on each side, and we'll break down. I'll break it out later, though. Not really that concerned about it. Anyway, so yeah, I I, origin, I eventually want to have, uh, you know, all the forges going and not really worry about screamers. But I can't really do that right now because I don't have spikes around the place. So right here is a good way to hide from screamers. So that is awesome. I am in the middle of making four dart, uh, four dart traps and three pressure plates. Now, there's a lot of confusion out there on whether dart traps... Uh, there's a lot of confusion on whether dart traps can damage other blocks. People have looked in the XML, and dart traps are supposed to damage other blocks. That is a fact. That's what people found in the XML. But I've tested it, and they don't seem to they don't seem to hurt other blocks. I went to a creative I went to a creative game. I set them up. Uh, they didn't seem to be they didn't seem to be hurting each other. So I'm going to put two dart traps here facing this way. 
I'm going to put two dart traps here facing this way. All right, then three pressure plates. One, two, three. These six blocks are getting broken out for a nice big entrance way here. Uh, if you only put like two blocks, two blocks broken out for like a doorway, uh, the zombies get kind of hung up in here and start breaking out the walls. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave three open. And then what they're going to do is they're going to come in here. They're going to start beating on my door and the dart traps should take them apart. Now, the doors that I can make right now are not wonderful. I cannot make the uh, vault door yet because it takes forged steel. You know, uh, what is the, yeah, it takes forged steel as well. Um, so I'm going to have to go with the hard metal door. It's really the only thing I can do. Uh, and it's not going to last long, but you know, uh, we should have steel pretty soon. What, 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 what level are we? Yeah, we're level 33. We, we gained a couple levels and I haven't even tried. So uh, I'm going to have to go out on a digging expedition though. Um, at some point I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they just updated it because I'm thinking stable is not as close as I thought and honestly I'm not looking I, I don't care about like just let me play this like I want I, I don't want to start over in stable and take 10 10 hours don't forget my days are one hour so for day 10 it took me 10 hours to get here I don't want to take another 10 hours to get to where I was so I can like you know um, test this out so I'm kind of I, I know stables coming and um, you know it'll be here eventually and that's fine but um, I you know, uh, push it back a little bit. Let me try, at least if I get this dart trap thing set up, because I'm really excited about this. It's nice that the dart traps are somewhat useful, because I I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to see. But uh, from what people told me on the, um, from what I read on the forums, the dart traps kind of are useless. And then some people said, no, they're good for guarding your doors. And then when I, when I read something's good for guarding your doors, that gets me very excited, because I've always wanted to have doors on the bottom level and you never could i mean putting doors in the bottom level is pointless it's always been pointless but now maybe not so much okay we got a problem here that's a big horde and i do not want them tearing apart this base yet i do not have any spikes out yet all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down there and i'm going to check out what's going on if i think i can get spikes down and upgrade them oh i don't have a lot of iron to upgrade the spikes well if i think i can get spikes down i will if I don't, then I will bail out and get over to my horde base. My horde base is still in, uh, you know, good working order. Um, it doesn't sound that bad down there. I could probably deal with it. Let me let me see what I got here. All right, so I got that. I got that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go see what we can do here. Because I'm not going to let them tear apart this base. Okay, so they're stuck on the other base. So I think I will just kind of chill here. Um... You know what? I really don't want to stop the video because I might have to fight this horde. Let's do corrections! Yes, I have been forgetting corrections. I almost forgot it in this video too, but let's go over some of the corrections. Okay, um, some prepared food smell range will be less when it's fixed. Okay, so I was talking about how like uh, certain foods were better than others and why is this one better than that one? Well, apparently um, some foods that are kind of more expensive, um, I didn't really see the benefit in them. But the benefit was that it, eventually when the smelting is fixed, certain foods will smell less than others. Like boiled boiled meat will smell less, right? Okay, so that's one correction. All right. The other correction, I mentioned how I never get hit and then I proceeded to die. Um, I need armor. I need to make armor. So that's a correction. I definitely do get hit and I definitely do need armor. All right. So uh, it's weird. Under corrections, I have making glue does not require a beaker, but I don't think that's supposed to go under corrections. I think I put it in the wrong place. I think that's one of the update notes. <laughs> so I don't think glue requires a beaker anymore. Uh, yeah. So, but you do have to use two large bones. Which kind of sucks. You could use one large bone if you make it in the chemistry station. So, um, yeah, that, that's not a correction. Um, and also, dart and blade traps are sturdier since they can stand a higher chance of being damaged. Okay, so this is another one that's in corrections, but it's not a correction. It's, it's part of the update notes. So, um, as part of the update notes, the, the, uh, uh, the dart and blade traps uh, have got a lot more hit points. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So we do have some stuff here. Can we get can we get to work? Um, yes, I can. All right. I'm gonna finish upgrading this now. Where do I want to put the generator? I kind of want to put the generator um, somewhere in the middle of the base, but nah. I kind of want I want the generator to be on a wall. Yeah, I want the generator to be on a wall. We could put it on this wall right here, I guess, or that wall over here. Uh, we can always move it later. So let's just put it right here. That looks cooler. Okay. We got the generator down. So. We are going to have to go over there. Uh, first of all, we do have the dart traps and the pressure plates. So let's go ahead and place these now. All right, might as well. There's no reason not to. All right, so the dart trap's a little tricky to place, and you got to be a little careful when placing it. See that? See that grilled side? That's supposed to be the side that's on the ground. 
Um, so how did I do this? Uh, I think I go like this, and I do... No, I remember how I did this. Okay, I did this in a creative world, and it was a little annoying. And if you, if I put this star trap down, you can't pick it back up. I can get some resources back for it, but I'll lose most of the resources. All right, so on face. So there we go. So one, two. So that should be the way it goes down. The grate should be on the floor, right? So if I go like this, the grate's there. So all right, I'm assuming that's the grate on the floor. Let's go ahead and look over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the grate. Yeah, the grate is on the floor. Uh... Because if the grate was on either side, this little metal thing would be facing up and down. Um, so when it's facing side to side, that means the grate is either on this side or the one on the floor. And the one on the floor is where I want it. So we're going to go right here. Go to copy rotation. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, guys, I just gained a level off killing a zombie. So that's um, that's pretty cool. Man, I'll tell you right now. Uh, <laughs> wrenching stuff is a biatch. Oh, my God. It drains your stamina so much. It, I, basically, I think you... I think I know... Nah, I think you guys know what I did wrong. I, I misplaced the dart traps on this side. So I had to wrench them up. Okay. Now, I have to craft a couple more. I had to go back to base and get some more forged iron. Um, because I did not have enough forged iron to craft the rest of the dart traps. So we're going to go ahead and craft that like that. And that'll be the last dart trap we need. But while that's being crafted up, I will talk to you about the uh, about wrenching stuff up, man. Um, it takes so much. It takes so much. By the way, man, my food is really bad. Um, man, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll worry about that after the video. Anyway, uh, in order to wrench these things up, I had to, I had to drink beer. Like, I could wrench it up for about 10 seconds, and then I had to stop. And it was 2,500 hit points. It was taking forever. Now, I took a look at Sexual Tyrannosaur. I might want to actually take the next rank of that. I might actually do that. But I was actually, I was also looking at Bad Mechanic. I think Bad Mechanic needs a not only a Harvest Count boost, but I think this needs a Stamina Drain buff. You know what I mean? Like, so when you're, so when you're wrenching stuff up, it takes less Stamina. Because right now, like... Um, Man, wrenching stuff up, it's uh, too much stamina in my opinion. God, like, I don't want to have to stop every two seconds I'm wrenching something. Like, I mean, I don't need things to be done, like, right away, but... But damn, dude, like, it was taking too long. But we'll play around a little bit more. I'll wrench some cars. Cars will probably be a better barometer. You know, so we'll see how cars work. Because, uh, maybe these, maybe these, uh, these traps aren't made to be wrenched up easily. M maybe. I'll, I, I will definitely hold off uh, ultimate judgment. But right now, man, it seemed pretty rough. All right, so there we go. That should be good. And then we just got to wait for the other one. While I'm waiting for the other one, I will be digging this out. It is now daytime, so we can actually break out this wall. This wall right here is always meant to just be, um, you know, just for the night. So, yeah. I'm also going to do a lot of harvesting. Also, uh, I think we're going to need grain alcohol a lot more than we used to. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I think after this video, I'm going to start a farm. And I'm going to go out and mine iron uh, for boulders. Because I'm actually out of iron right now. Uh, and that's a problem. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to have to go out and mine boulders. A lot of iron. We need a lot of iron. Uh, and then at that point, I'll start a farm, mine a bunch of iron, and then I think we'll be ready for another video. And um, this dart trap base thing, I think we'll be ready for Horde Night. I'd really like to turn it into concrete sooner rather than later. Um, but I don't think the concrete's going to be ready for day 14 because I got too much, too many other things to do. So, um, yeah. So also, what I just broke out, I'm going to have to break out. Also, I'm going to have to break out this uh asphalt man i hate breaking that asphalt it takes forever okay guys there we go got the second dart trap down we put it down the proper way we're good to go we dug this out um i just wanted to bring it to your attention i don't know if you guys saw in the middle of my inventory there was 1200 raw iron here um when i went back to my base in between cuts my forge was bugged okay i tried to put some I tried to put some iron in the forge, it wouldn't cook it. So I was thinking maybe there's something wrong with the iron. So I spawned in some raw iron, not to use it, but just to see if that's what was wrong with my forge. I put the raw iron in the forge, it wouldn't cook that either, okay? So I basically spawned in another forge because I wasn't about to use resources on a bug that wasn't my fault. I did nothing wrong. So I spawned in another forge so I didn't have to use the resources and that one worked just fine. Now I didn't use the raw iron. I spawned in 1,200 raw iron. I destroyed 1,200 raw iron um, just for a complete, you know, Complete and open honesty here. I just want to let you know why that raw iron was in there and to let you know that I did not use it in any way. It was just to test a bug. Well, guys, this video is going hella long. But as you can see, I've got a bunch of iron darts now. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. Uh, I guess 125 in each. It's not a lot, 
but it's all I got for now. Uh, it's basically just for testing purposes. This isn't supposed to be holding back hordes or anything. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be worth putting the door on this level, though, uh, with this setup. Um, did I make my door? I could have swore I made my door. Anyway, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth putting the door on this level for this setup. Because when I get a major horde, like when a major horde finally does come in, which will happen, you know, horde night. If they go for that door, I don't think these dart traps are going to hold back a major horde. I think they're good for screamers, screamer hordes, maybe a couple roaming hordes. I don't really know. But I don't know if this if this is going to work. Um, I'm just going to give it a shot because, you know, we're trying new things here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the pressure plates down. There we go. Then we put the door in. You got to make sure the door is on the outside but swings in. Like so. There we go. Beautiful. We can upgrade that as well. And it might be worth our time. We don't have enough to upgrade it again. That is okay. That is okay. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make wood railings now someone one of you guys in the comments gave me the idea to make these wood railings you said you saw it on a stream and it worked out pretty well so we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna give it a shot why not it's gonna be a lot of testing and a lot of whatever uh this is already not high well it doesn't really matter if they come in here yeah that shouldn't matter honestly all right so let's put that right there and then what you do is you put these like this and then you go to advanced and you put them like sideways i've never done this yet but uh, like that, right? Isn't that the way you told me to do it? I think so. And we should be able to shoot through this. Yes, okay. Uh, not the sturdiest thing in the world, but, you know, it could be a could be a good idea. Okay, I had to go ahead and make a switch. So I have the switch. So we're going to put the switch right there. Alright, because I want the wires to come along the sides. I don't want them to go over the middle. Not that it really matters, but it matters to me because it's ugly. Uh, it's gonna go into the middle. Will that go into the middle? Okay from there. I'm not really sure until I do it. Let's um, let's check it out. So all right, so let's do this And this is gonna get this is gonna get connected into the middle one. Let's see what that looks like now That looks like shit. See, I don't like that. I don't like that at all All right, so uh, where do I want to put a relay where it's not gonna look like crap. It would have to be lower It's gonna have to be lower um, and I don't really like it lower, but I think we might have to do it lower. Okay, so we want to put it lower because, um, in order to not see the wires, it's going to have to be lower. So I'm thinking, like, right here would be another good spot. Um, this, this place would be pretty secure. Uh, let's do this and like this. Alright, so that, okay, I can live with that. That is fine. Okay, I'm okay with that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go back up top. This is going to be a long video, by the way, guys. Um, electricity is new to everybody, including me. Um, and I've done a little bit of, of prep work off camera, but still, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, anyway, you go th anytime you go through a relay unnecessarily, like I'm doing right now, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you extra uh, electricity, but not much. Something right there. That looks good. All right. I can live with that. I can live with that. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good. Okay. So, um, no, I think the, uh, generator actually, actually has to be on for this. Cause what happened is when stuff's powered, it'll glow. And I was hoping to set this up without, um, without need to run the generator at the same time, but whatever. Um, I'm going to put a small engine in there. The better the engine, the less gas they take and the more wattage you get. I'm also going to refuel and turn this on. Okay. So the switch is not hooked up. Actually, wait, does this need to be on? Maybe, maybe it wasn't hooked up. That's why... Hold on. Let's turn that off. Let's hook this into here. All right. No, it does have to be turned on. Because you can see right there, you see the zero watts is not is like grayed out. Now it's... All right, we're going to turn that off. Now it's... See how, see how the zero watts is now yellow? That lets you know that the generator is now on. Okay, so that should be yellow... Okay, it wasn't yellow because the switch wasn't on. I didn't know the switch had to be on. Um, so you actually have to run power to everything. Uh, which, you know, is fine. Okay, so this middle one's getting power. So now what we want to do is we want to take the middle one and we want to connect it to the sides. The pressure plates, basically what happens is if these dart traps are powered, they continue shooting no matter what. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're running the power into the middle pressure plate, which will give this pressure plate power. Then this pressure plate will give power to the one on the side and... The one on the other side. So now if this middle pressure plate's down, these two side pressure plates are down as well. Okay? Um, so now we're going to give this side pressure plate and hook it up to the dart trap. And we're going to hook it up to the other dart trap. 
Okay. Then we're going to come to the side pressure plate and hook it up to this one. There might be better ways of doing this. I don't know, but this is the way that I found works for me. And we're going to hook that up to there. Okay, now, what's going to happen is, if I come and step on the middle pressure plate, you see how the dart traps are, are grayed out? This is 10 watts, 10 watts, grayed out. All right? That means they're not powered. But if I come and step on the middle pressure plate, now they're powered. You can hear them clicking, right? And the yellow is now powered, right? Now, the reason they're not shooting darts is because you have to lock the ammo to actually make them shoot the darts. So, there's that. Okay, well, let's say the zombies don't step on the middle pressure plate. Let's say they step on this pressure plate. If they step on this pressure plate, it's going to activate this one and this one, but not this one or this one. Now, I've gone around and, like, tried to figure out ways to make this pressure plate uh, set off these two dart traps, but I can't figure out a way because you can't have multiple wires going to the same dart trap. Or I don't remember. It was, it was a long night last night testing this, but I just know I couldn't figure out an easy way to do that. And honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. If they're stepping on this pressure plate, they're still going to get shot at by two dart traps, right? Just not those two. And if they step on this pressure plate, they'll get shot up from these two. Hold on. It's a little buggy sometimes. They'll get shot at from these two dark traps, but not these two. T chances are they're going to be on the middle, pre middle pressure plate anyway. It's not a perfect setup, but it works, and I like it. Okay, so I don't see any zombies. Um, all right, you know what? Honestly, I really don't have a lot of time for this. So I opened up the bag menu, press F6, and we're going to spawn a few zombies. I won't loot anything from these zombies. I won't gain anything from them. I just want to test this out. So let's spawn some nurses. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see. We got attacked by five nurses. Hello. Oh, there they are. Okay. So we got attacked by five nurses. We're on the run. Oh my god. What are we going to do? And we didn't close the door in time. Well, that's just wonderful. All right. Well, let's lead them out. Come on, guys. Out here. No, don't attack my base. All right. We got most of them out. I'll kill the rest. All right. Let's lead them away. Let's get some distance. <laughs> All right. It's not as easy as I thought, but I think we can do this. All right, we're just going to walk by and then close the door. Got it. Okay, so now they're beating on our door. We come up here, we flip the switch. And we got darts. And they are getting destroyed. Yeah, suck it, nurses. All right. So she's not getting hit. But she's a little off to the side, but that's why we could be up here and kind of like, you know... There she goes. Okay, so, you know, it's pretty good. I don't think it's going to work well for a Horde Knight, but eh, it seems pretty interesting. Let's see if we can get this one to come in. Oh, there she is. Okay, so it looks like she's got a problem. With... Let's just come over here. That way she'll try and beat down the door. I think the reason uh, it wasn't working when I was up up top is because they weren't they weren't trying to beat down the door. You ha they have to be trying to beat on the door. So it's not a perfect setup, but it seems to work. So I think that's going to work out just swimmingly. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to call this one here. Till next time, take it easy.